season. I got some working right back here behind me. I had a gobbler up on roost this morning that I snuck right by and I was hoping he was going to fly down to my step, but he didn't do it. So hopefully we can get these things worked in today. Back one outdoors, baby. six or eight nice toms working over here behind me. They're still over there, but uh, I had one skirt around me here at about 20 yards. Wasn't able to get a shot at him. He just came zipping through too fast. He hung out over here on the other side, and I tried to call him back, but he wasn't having it because he had a hen with him already. Um, it's still early. I think it's only about 8 o'clock right now. So hopefully this group works its way back over to the decoy, um, and I can get a shot. We'll see what happens. Day one, uh, still a good hunt. Saw all kinds of turkeys and um, a lot of seen a lot of deer actually too. It's pretty nice. I had a gobbler working me behind me probably about a hundred yards most of the afternoon, so just couldn't get him to commit yet. But that's why this season's a week long. It's always tomorrow, so I'll be back at her early and I'll see you then.
idea what happened there. Um, I held right on his head. They came in perfect, like on a string. Uh, it looks to me like the arrow went low, so... Damn it. Uh, I'm gonna have to get out of here and go check out my setup and see what's going on with my bow. Maybe it was error on my part, or maybe the bow, maybe my sight moved or something when we were looking, but... Uh, can't be having that. Oh, I know it happens to everybody, but... Man, that sucks. They came in nice. Those were perfect. Well, I'll check it out and see what happens. I'll review the footage, see exactly where I hit him, but I think I hit him low, so we'll see what happens. What's up, everybody? Back again. Uh, yesterday, I missed a bird. I went and reviewed the footage and looked at my arrow. I just knocked a few feathers off of him, gave him a, a haircut, basically. Uh, this morning's about a carbon copy day of yesterday, so I'm assuming a lot of action. I've already had quite a few goblin out in the field, but they all moved off. Hopefully their pattern stays the same where they roost and or come down out of roost, strut in the field for a little while, and then work around behind me and come in from behind me. So hopefully the action will be good today. I just saw a coyote up in here on this ridge running. I didn't get him on video. I got him on video yesterday. He come right down through my setup yesterday, but I had the wrong arrow set up yesterday for anything else but turkeys. And I switched back to the O2 blades this time so I can get one in the body. So, with any luck, we'll have one down here pretty soon. pretty cool just had a group of deer go by it's crazy it's the middle of April and we had one still sporting some antlers I don't get that it's weird to me but it's pretty awesome to see I think they knew I was here they saw the blind and got a little bit nervous but they made their way right back in front of me it was pretty awesome Well, folks, you win some and you lose some. Uh, the following day, the wind had picked up like crazy and it totally destroyed my blind. It broke like four of the hubs out of my uh, blind that hold it up. So that kind of put me out. I did a little spot and stalk was unsuccessful. But uh, throughout all of this, I did learn a lesson. Make sure you tie your blind down really good. And number two, always carry an extra broadhead with you if you're using the decapitation style heads on turkeys. Uh, I shouldn't have been able to let them two coyotes slide, but hey, that's the way it is. You win some, you lose some. Like I said, as hunters know, it's not always a gimme. So thanks very much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll be back for more. I'll have my revenge. Hopefully I break this turkey curse. Thanks.